Right, two times eight minute FTP test was completed by myself yesterday, um, and I got some decent decent numbers. Uh, someone did ask for a video the other day about just like how you do the test, etc., etc., and my thoughts on it. So you can see, three hundred twenty seven watts is my FTP apparently. Very content with that. Seems decent at sixty three kilos. That's about five point two watts per kilo. So not too shabby for the winter. Uh, but anyway, the protocol is so had a nice little warm up, good hour warm up here, mainly sort of zone one, zone two, couple of uh, like tempo stuff um, on the climbs. Uh, first eight minute interval was seven minutes fifty nine, was three hundred sixty four watts, and then you have a ten minute gap in between, and then a, another eight minutes, and then you take the average of those. So for me, that's quite simple, three hundred sixty three watts, um, and you divide that, sorry, multiply that by point nine, so to take ninety percent of it. Uh, and that gives you your estimated FTP. Now, obviously, all FTPs are technically estimated, apart from, well, even an hour FTP is probably estimated because you can't go, I mean, FTP is basically defined as, like, the maximum, so it's like the steady state that you can sustain for about an hour, where basically your lactate is about the same for a whole hour. But the problem is, obviously, most people can't do that because going an hour, absolute full gas is incredibly brutal, and most people can't reach their physiological potential. Their mind is the limiting factor, which is why when people do FTP tests and then compare it to that hour power, they're like, well, my FTP is, like, way higher than my hour power. That FTP is wrong. It's like, well, no, but did you actually go full gas up a climb, like, for an hour? If you, if you do a 20-minute test and then you extrapolate your hour power into the flat, like, obviously, it's going to be different. So there's lots of things like that. But anyway, basically, the main thing to do for me, best test, 20 minute test. No, sorry, best test is probably ramp test, most consistent. Then 20 minute test, then this one. I don't do a ramp test, I already made a video about that. 20 minute test, don't have a 20 minute climb near me, so I do the, the eight minute test. Does it overestimate my FTP? I don't think so, but I will find out in the next couple of weeks if I can't do the intervals. Uh, but we'll see, you know, like, I know definitely this suits me because I'm a lot more of a like, better person at eight minutes than 20 minutes, and like, I can hold these numbers, it's not, it was hard, but, like, you know, obviously it was very hard, but, like, you know, it, it wasn't, imp like, I know I can do that. Well, for 20-minute tests, sometimes I just sort of blow up or just, yeah. I find these easier to pace as well. Um, so, anyway, like, I was pretty content with it. 327 watts, like, that's that's decent. Like, obviously, it's not incredible. Um, but at the moment, I'm, like, 63 kilos, which is, like, not my lightest. Like, hill climb, I was, like, 60, 61 for sure. So, that would get me down to about 5.4, 5.3 watts per kilo as an FTP, <clears throat> which is, like, decent. It's nothing absolutely nuts for someone like my weight. Like, obviously, if you're a heavy rider, then it's more impressive. But if you're, like, 60 kilos, like, it's, it's decent. Uh, and I should be able to, you know, do well on some of the climbs. Um, and then, yeah, so I was I was pretty happy with that. In terms of, like, cadence and things like that, self-selected, 8.5 for me. You can see it varies a lot. I had pretty high cadence to begin with when it's pretty consistent gradient. And then as the speed changes, my cadence changes as well. Steeper parts, so let's have slower cadence. Faster parts, faster cadence uh, in general. Um, and then, yeah, so you can see there's a little little bit of, like, uh, oscillation with the power it's not 100% smooth but that's that's pretty natural uh, when you are going full gas because your body is not a machine it can't do the power perfectly if you're doing an interval fair play um, but anyway yeah so we'll take these into uh, FTP into the next training block and then we'll see what it comes up with um, do I recommend this test I think yeah if you if you're concentrating on like punchy events shorter event like short hills and stuff it makes sense because this is where you're going to do better. It will give you a, a different FTP to like 20 minute test where maybe it's better if you're a long time trialist or doing something with longer efforts. Um, anyway, so you can see I was trying 197 heart rate. My max was like 201, 203, something like that. So yeah, it's pretty up there. Um, and then it, obviously the speed was dreadful because there was a fat headwind and um, also there was not, um, I was wearing all my winter stuff, bottles, etc., etc. So obviously speed is not great. Uh, but anyway, I was pretty happy with that. So cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you have any questions about this or like my training for the next couple of months, I'm going to share that in a bit. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And make sure to give, give me a follow on Strava as well if you want to see any of my training. And I'll see you in the next video.